Hello, Gemini. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of April 5th through the 11th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe, hit that like button, and join me daily for my quick glance daily readings. Now keep in mind, these are general readings and will not resonate with everyone. You can obtain a private reading by clicking the link to my website below. Also be sure to watch your rising sign and moon sign, which might resonate with you more for this particular week. And I am working with the Ostera Tarot deck for this week's reading, so let's get started. First card, Gemini. The Queen of Cups. Next. The King of Pentacles. Wow, it looks like the devil. And the Major Arcana card, Death. Now your Shaman's Dream Oracle card for direction for the week, and you have Falling Angel. And your Crystal for the week is Kunsite. Okay, Gemini. So first glance here, there's an indication with some of your cards here that you're too giving to others, Gemini. People are taking advantage of you, and maybe you don't realize that. Now, for some of you, you're in the middle of a transformation because something is going to be coming to an end, and you do have a new beginning surfacing. Now, your oracle cards are an indication of your health and well-being. Okay, Gemini. So your first card here is the Queen of Cups. And normally, the Queen of Cups is sitting on her throne, just deep in thought, looking at her cup, connecting with her higher power. But on this card, in this deck, the Queen of Cups is totally immersed in water, which is what the Queen of Cups needs to do to restore her energy, to get her inspiration and energy back on track. And this card's indicating that there are people around you, Gemini, that are draining your energy on a regular basis. She's reaching and trying to head towards the light. So this card's indicating to be sure not to lose yourself to the needs of others who may come to you for help. So in other words, Gemini, don't get so wrapped up in helping everyone else that you yourself, you will suffer. And I was picking up such a strong indication in regards to your health and well-being. So you're really not doing yourself any favors this week, Gemini. People around you that might be particularly needy, this can be in the home environment or this can be in the workplace. But regardless, Gemini, you need to protect yourself and your energy. And what this can do is get you in a serious position where you're disconnected from your higher self and that your intuition will be off. You won't be able to trust in it because it will be off balance, you might say. Now, there is one other message coming through with this card is that... The Queen of Cups is actually Cancer's card and energy, so could be an indication that a Cancer individual around you is feeling this way. Now, on your next card, Gemini, you have the King of Pentacles, and this is a King of Pentacles like no other, as this card in this deck is representing almost being too materialistic, putting too much emphasis on the things that you purchase or possess. So for some Geminis, you might be putting too much focus on materialistic things. Whether they are basic necessities or not, this card in this deck has got you all wrapped up in regards to a material thing. There's also an indication with this card that you kind of want to show it off. You want to show it you want to show it to the world, whatever it is. 
Now this is Taurus's card in energy, so it's a very persistent, stubborn kind of energy that's surrounding you this week, Gemini. And something has got you just mesmerized where all your focus is all about this particular something. Now, just looking here at the pentacle that's dangling, almost like it's swinging where it's got you hypnotized, where nothing else matters except that one particular thing. So whatever this is, Gemini, realize that this energy is around you at this time. And a good, strong meditation and reconnecting with spirit might be needed at this time as this is an energy, kind of a negative low vibration to it. And this card just really almost looks like the devil card where you're so caught up in something that you're forgetting about everything else, including people around you. Which almost sounds like a contradiction to your first card, the Queen of Cups, but it's not. There are people around you that are taking advantage of you, Gemini. That's the Queen of Cups energy. Now, the King of Pentacles energy is that some material thing, as the Pentacles represent money, security, your job, that's got your total focus and attention. And what I'm going to say is in a more unhealthy way. And really looking closely here at the card. It's almost like you're blinded to see anything else at this time. Your next card, Gemini, is the major arcana card, death, which is a card of not physical death. It's a transformation. This is like you're in a time period right now, just kind of waiting and waiting and waiting. It's kind of like when a caterpillar is in a cocoon and just staying there, just waiting until it's ready to become a butterfly. So for myself, this is what I call sitting on the fence period of time. And the thing you need to be aware of with this card and energy is that this card is bringing in change and that you need to let go of old habits and old ways of thinking, Gemini, in order for more rewarding things to show up in your life. If you resist changing, you're going to slow down the process and maybe stall it altogether. And then you'll be stuck in this transitional stage. So usually when the death card shows up, it's time to get rid of what's no longer useful. You might be ending a job, you might be moving house, this could be ending a relationship. So freeing up and eliminating stagnant energy around you is going to allow new things to come in. And much quicker if you just let go. Now pictured on the death card here in this deck is a skeletal type vulture here. If you can kind of see here's his head and his neck and kind of where he'd have that big humped back. And he's just crouching. And in the background, this is actually the King of Pentacles back here. If you can see the person behind that. There's a lot going on on this card. But he's got like these vines growing like out of his eyes, which is an indication of New growth is possible. New things are coming in. They are possible. Now, the death card is associated with your first chakra, your base, and also your seventh chakra. That's the top of your head, your direct connection with spirit. So a big indication, again, tap into your higher self, tap into spirit for guidance and direction. Now, the number 13 of the death card reduces to four. Four can be a very just stuck and unmoving energy. So that's the danger here with this showing up. Fours are about stability, being rational, the practical parts of life, being self-disciplined, Gemini. Four is the actual number of the heart chakra. So could mean that 
This chakra is off balance in regards to something that you love. And since you had the king of pentacles, this is something material. And you're stuck on the fence at this time in regards to that. Now your numerology for your tarot cards is number 15, which reduces to six. So your numerology is indicating that you need more balance in your life. Something is out of balance. And both your first two cards is an indication of that. Now your Shaman's Dream Oracle card for your direction is Falling Angel, which is actually indicating for you not to fall asleep or go unconscious. This is in regards to your spirituality, Gemini. Something has taken up all of your time and energy where you're off track as to what it is you truly want to be doing, Gemini. So it's like you're a falling angel and all you need to do is just kind of stop, spread your wings to halt your descent and then find like an updraft again. Now there could be other so-called fallen angels around you, your supposed friends or companions who are ready to use you for their own interests. And this ties into your Queen of Cups card. Now as the falling angel, it's like an invitation to just study the forest above the trees to look at your sick situation here from a higher perspective without getting stuck in the branches. So that's why on the card here, it says like spiritual narcolepsy because you forgot about yourself, Gemini, and your health and well-being. That message keeps coming through. You need to look after yourself, Gemini. Now, your angels and guides have suggested the Kunsight crystal for its healing abilities. This crystal is associated with your third eye and heart chakra. So that's your perception, your intuition, as well as your heart center. So it kind of connects the heart with the mind. Now, the Kunsight crystal is good for strengthening heart muscles and boosting your circulatory system can also be helpful to your skeletal and muscular system, which kind of ties into your death card here as it's showing the skeletal vulture on the card, maybe indicating to meditate with this crystal. It's also a good crystal to help keep anxiety down, calms you down. So it's a crystal that you can meditate with for inner peace, helping to let go of your fears or worries, especially in regards to the future, Gemini. So this is one crystal that can bring more balance and harmony back into your life. So in summary here for your week ahead, Gemini, you start off with the Queen of Cups, which is an indication that people are just draining your energy and possibly unbeknownst to you. Maybe you're not realizing this, as the queen here, she's totally immersed in water, which is what the queen does to restore her energy. But the fact that she's totally immersed in water and trying to stay focused on the light above is an indication. There's a lot of people around you, Gemini, just draining all your energy. You're doing so much for others that it's affecting your health and well-being. And the King of Pentacles, and especially the one in this deck, is showing up as there's something materialistic in your world that you're really focused on. It's kind of the energy where nothing else matters. This is all you're thinking about. And just looking at the card, you see the dangling pentacle is almost like hypnotizing you, keeping you focused on just that. And almost you know, keeping you blinded to the other important things around you. So something in the material world is keeping you fixated on one particular thing. And next you have the major arcana card death, which is indicating you're in the middle of a transformation. Something is ending, something is waiting to begin. 
So as I call it, you're kind of sitting on the fence and waiting and waiting and waiting. And it's interesting. How many hands are on this card? Almost like there's too many people's hands involved in whatever this transition is all about. So be careful of the number four energy of the death card as you can remain stuck. You need to clear out the stagnant energy, get rid of what no longer serves a purpose, Gemini. Meditate with the Kunsite crystal to relieve any anxiety or stress and try to get your balance back. Get grounded and centered again. And I'm just picking up that so many Geminis are split, you might want to say, since you're known as the twins. Now your numerology here is number six, which is indicating you need more balance. Your cards are all indicating you're off balance. Your Shaman's Dream Oracle card, Falling Angel, is indicating that you've kind of let your spirituality go to the wayside. It's kind of falling asleep. You're not doing any of what I'm going to say, your regular routine, meditating, possibly yoga, running, walking, whatever it is that has a calming effect on you. So this falling angel is an indication for you to pay attention to what it is that you truly want to do, Gemini. Everything in your reading is about other things, other people, and you're losing sight on your own health and well-being, Gemini. So be sure you have the Kunsite crystal as that's got a lot of healing properties that can bring inner peace and calm reduce stress and anxiety for you as you are certainly in the middle of a transformation, a transition where you're finishing up one thing and you're going to be heading off in a new direction. But for now, Gemini, you are sitting on the fence. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe and help support my channel if you haven't already. For a private reading with me, click on my website link below. Love and abundance to my Gemini family.